In this How Divers 2 video, we talk about the Halo comparison, comparing it to Power World in regards to concurrent users. Also, if this game will ever be released on Xbox, as well as Phil Spencer himself, his initial thoughts on How Divers not being on Xbox. But before we go any further, people, I am giving away 2100 super credits. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a smiley face comment down below. I will pick the winners from the comment section and announce them on my video tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. The year is now 2024 and there are still people out there that try and create rivalries in regards to console wars, repping a multi-billion dollar company who really don't care you exist unless you are feeding their pockets with that money. It's 2024 and the clickbait from publishers to fuel this fire, well not really a surprise to anyone when you see the kind of companies behind said articles. But it just reiterates the point that although most people think that kids are responsible for such rubbish, in actual fact, there are fully grown adults out there who will still die on that console war rivalry hill. It truly is hilarious to sit back and watch when you enjoy both consoles but have a PC sitting there too. The Halo How Divers 2 comparison over the past few days has gained a ton of traction but all for the wrong reasons. It merely started off as a friendly rivalry, a bit of banter, a bit of humour. Now all of a sudden, uh, it became an all out war. It's a comparison between the two like Halo and Helldivers 2 are even in the slightest similar. That's the worst part. As I sit there and I read the rubbish some people post, I'm like, this would make sense in the slightest way if these games were even remotely alike. I mean, besides space armor, I really don't see much else. But this hasn't stopped people taking this to a point it really shouldn't have gone to. To a point where even the CEO of Helldivers is fed up with it and had to say something. Unleashed, who by the way is just a PlayStation fan account, who hates anything Xbox and a little secret here, I am told uh, that this dude doesn't even own a PS5, but hey. <laughs> hit me up dude, hit me up on my Discord, I'll purchase you a PS5. Well, this Unleashed said over on Twitter, Xbox. I mean, Xbox, that's absolutely incredible. All Xbox players now are bots. Uh, it's just because they choose to play a console that doesn't rep the console developer. He has no doubt somehow created a relationship with to a point of insulting anyone or anything who decides to play or speak up on anything elsewhere. I mean, if you are an Xbox for playing on Xbox, what the heck does that make this dude? Remember guys, these ain't all kids by the way. We have fully grown adults making this stuff up too. But yeah, he says, sorry Xbox, but everyone knows the truth. With this image you can see on the screen now. The CEO replied with, why compare? Just let gamers love and enjoy both. Either or neither. We need more compassion and union in the world and less rivalry. And although this Unleashed got ratioed out of his stain pants, his initial tweet still has almost 1000 likes. I mean, going through accounts like these really do cheer you up if you are at a stage in life where you need a smile button on your face. You will sit there and wonder how it got so bad for some people. I mean, we've heard of sheep, but this is beyond sheeperism. It's almost like a lemming. And there are thousands of these dudes just following one direction. Not just PS fanboys either, guys, Xbox too. It's equally as bad on both sides. Oh yeah, Xbox, that's definitely staying with me. When the CEO of a game comes out and basically tells you to shut the F up, I mean, you know you are a plum. But it gets worse, people. Publishers like Games Radar themselves are trying to incite further flames by creating articles titled How Divers 2 recaptures the co-op chaos of classic Halo games better than Halo itself. I mean, these people ain't stupid, these kinds of things get clicks and it's why people do it and nothing will ever change, that is for sure. Games Radar though is one of the worst I have seen, so yeah this really surprises nobody. Now when I actually go through Reddit, I'd say 99% of players and posters actually want this game to come to Xbox, they want the help, they demand it, but I actually don't think this is ever likely to happen. How Divers 2 is published and licensed by Sony Interactive Entertainment, 
So that in itself means there's an extremely low probability that the game will ever come or be released on Xbox. And yeah, you know what? These things happen. Console exclusivity is a thing nowadays, getting rarer and rarer. But as long as there's competition, there will always be exclusives. Power World was the same. That was an absolute massive hit over on Xbox. Yeah, giving it dropped off quite quickly. Something I don't actually expect Howard Divers to do because it's a live service game. But yeah, it's all the same, guys. We had weeks of Xbox flaunting Power World to PlayStation players. So in a way, I kind of get some of the taunting. We've even had Phil Spencer on the case of Helldivers not being on Xbox. But he also gets it. He said in an interview for Game File Newsletter, I will say, when you look at a game like Helldivers 2, and it's a great game, kudos to the team, shipping it on PC and PlayStation. I'm not exactly sure who it helps in the industry not being on Xbox, he said. If you try and twist yourself to say, like somehow that benefited somebody somewhere. He goes on to say, well, I get it. There's a legacy in console gaming and we're going to benefit by shipping games and not putting them on other places. We do the same thing. And he does. Xbox does the same thing. But yeah, a happy gaming world with no exclusive means companies like Sony and Microsoft in turn generate less money. Some console exclusives drive console sales. And me personally, I don't think I'd buy a console for one game. But when you have a catalogue of great exclusive games, this sways players. So it's in Sony's right to keep Howl Divers on PlayStation in regards to that console exclusivity. And it's for this point, I don't think this game will ever make its way onto Xbox. I just really don't. Now, I've jokingly asked about a Power World trade for Howl Divers. So my Xbox mates can play with me while I play on crisp settings on my PC. But the outcry on replies is funny. Some people would love the inclusion of Xbox in the field. But then some people prefer to liberate at slower paces as long as they can log into Twitter on a night off and troll those Xbox. I mean, as I made this video early Monday morning, Power World right now currently has more concurrent players logged in than Helldivers does. I'm about to jump on Twitter and troll these ponies with my shit stained pants. No, jokes aside, How Divers right now is the big game to play, the fun game to play. Both it and Power World hit at the perfect times, in my opinion. One I can see lasting years, the other I will believe fade into oblivion and be forgotten about within four to six months. A cookie to the person who guesses which game I'm talking about here, which game fades away. But yeah, something I never quite got. I mean, I don't have the sheepish mentality to fall into the category of an Xbox or a pony. I've always bought the platform in which I enjoy games on, and if another platform has games I like too, guess what? I buy it. But for most people, it's normally the case of liking X must mean you have to dislike Y. This happens with games, consoles, smartphones, clothing brands, music artists, everywhere people. Wherever there is competition, there is division. The world would be a much more peaceful place without that division, but hey, it would be a boring place too. In fact, I think I will type this video, Power World vs Helldivers vs Halo, to bait at these sheep so we can all have a good laugh at them, and maybe with them too. But yes guys, my opinion on Helldivers coming to Xbox, I don't think it ever will. Power World, PlayStation, that may actually happen, but Helldivers, Halo comparison, is completely mind-boggling to me. There's not even a comparison there. Halo wins all day, every day. Just joking, people. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.